For me, the nature of forgetting is not a show about dementia. So, for him, the nature of forgetting is not a show about dementia. So, for him, the nature It's about love. It's about friendship. It's about all these little moments that makes us who we are. But in, but in order to show that, we have to go through something else. And so we're using dementia as a tool to unravel some truths about the human condition. You don't have to see what we want you to see. We really see the show like a climbing wall, and we give you the grips, and hopefully there are enough grips, and then you can climb, climb where we want you to climb. But hopefully, the work is specific enough that you can actually climb. We collaborated with a professor called Professor Kate Jeffrey from University College London. Everything in the show is connected with a scientific fact, something that we've learned from Professor Kate Jeffrey. Obviously, dementia is different for everyone, but in most cases of dementia, the short-term memory, what you've done yesterday, what you've had for breakfast, will disappear very quickly because it's not really embedded. Whereas the long-term memory. Your first kiss at school, the first time you ride a bike, yeah, all of that is 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 the long-term memory, and you you've remembered it many times. And every time you remember something, you embed it into your brain. It creates stronger and stronger memory roots, and because those memory roots are stronger embedded into your brain, it's harder to get rid of them. And that's why we focus on the earlier life of Tom, because that's that's what stays. And it also leads to something even more interesting: is that when you start You know, noticing that you have dementia, the memories that are not really important to you, they start to disappear. But what's really important, what is at the core of who you are, becomes more vivid. And so, for a brief moment, to forget means to remember better. And I find that fascinating.